Hey guys, for Shri Star here. In today's video, we're going to show you how to fix your iPad if you forgot the passcode and how to get back onto it. Now, if you forgot your passcode, Apple recommends you doing a factory reset and then backing up if you have a backup of your device. Now, the important thing about this is that if you have iCloud backup, you can probably get your data back like photos and videos. Or if you saved a backup on your computer, you'll still have your data. Now, if you didn't save a backup, unfortunately, you won't be able to get any of your data. There's really no way to bypass the passcode if you forgot if you're iPad is asking for a passcode or it's disabled. You're going to have to restore it back to factory setting. Now, the good thing about the iCloud backup is that if you use that, you're going to be able to just sign into your iCloud account and be fine with it. Now, after you factory reset it, if you had your Apple ID logged in or if someone had it logged in, it's going to ask for that email and password of that Apple ID. So make sure you know that. Now let's go ahead and do a factory reset and show you how to get back into the iPad if you forgot your passcode. Now first thing you want to do is actually have your computer open. Now on the newer MacBook you can use uh, Finder but if you're an older Mac you need to download iTunes which you can Google and you can download it free. Now if you have a PC or a MacBook you can or PC you can also download iTunes to do this uh, method. iTunes is from Apple, it's just the program that allows you to do these software updates and factory reset. So what we're going to do is, first thing is go ahead and take our cable that we have and connect it to the computer. So that's the same cable that you use for your charger. Go ahead and connect the cable and either to your MacBook or to your PC, whatever you have. Go ahead and connect your device. So here we're connected. Once you're connected, it's going to charge or something like that. That's fine. Now the next thing you need to do is put the f iPad in recovery mode. To do that in recovery mode, if you have a iPad with the home button, what you're going to do is hold the home button and then the power button up top here. So you're going to have a power button up here. You don't want to hold these two buttons at the same time. While you're holding it, just wait until the screen goes black and keep on still holding it till it goes completely black and it powers back on even then don't let go of it now you can see the Apple logo you're just gonna keep on holding the home button and then wait till you see this other step which is gonna be recovery mode and you'll see here now it'll have this icon which means we're able to get into the recovery mode so you're gonna leave it like this and then you're gonna have many pop up just like that on your iTunes uh, or on your Finder if you have a MacBook. So what you're going to do is you're going to want to do is a restore here. Update and restore. It's pretty much we'll do that. So we'll do click on restore here and as you can see we'll do restore and update and then it will ask you to you know, confirm that you agree to it and then once you do that it will start the process. As you'll notice here it tells you how many gigs so it'll take some time to download it. The good thing about this thing is that the iPad might go back to the password screen then you're going to do the same thing again you're going to hold the home button and the top button again until it downloads so sometimes if you have a weaker internet connection as you can see we have a weak Wi-Fi connection it will take somewhere between 30-40 minutes for it to download that software update so it can do a factory a reset of it so you're going to hold on we're going to show you after we download the update what to do after that so again let it download, give it 30, 40 minutes, even longer if you have a slower Wi-Fi, but if you have a fast Wi-Fi, it might be 10, 15 minutes. Just wait till it completes the download. All right, guys, so it's been about 15 to 20 minutes, and the iPad just went to iPad unavailable, and it got out of that mode that we were in, and you see it's not showing anything downloading, so what we want to do is if it happens, we want to, like we mentioned, do the same exact thing where we want to put it in recovery mode one more time again, so we're going to hold the top button here and then the home button here and press and hold till we get back into that mode again. You're going to keep on holding till it goes black, till you see the Apple logo and then get into that mode again and then it will tell us that it's still downloading the software on our MacBook. The reason why this happens is because it times out so when it downloads takes longer than the iPad expected it just goes back to that mode so you can see it's gonna come up with this you want to cancel this time because it's already downloading one of the updates and we just want to wait until it does that so once we do that uh, we want to see that it gets to that screen and then we're gonna try to restore here and then update and restore if we do this 
as you can see here now the process has begun to extracting software down here at the bottom here that means it's going through the process and it's going to go through the process that means the update was complete and you're going to just wait till it goes as you can see there's a progress bar here so make sure that happens and the same thing happens with itunes as well they work exactly the same this process generally again will take a little bit of time you see as you can see right now it went to the apple logo which is good and we're going to wait till it's preparing the restore here And then the other thing you see is this loading menu now comes up and it's going to syncing with it. During this time, you do want to make sure that it is connected. You don't get disconnected somehow. And as you saw here, our MacBook here is on low power mode. So we're going to go ahead and plug that into the actual power outlet because you don't want them to, our MacBook to die while this process is happening. So you just plugged in our MacBook to make sure that it's charging because you don't want the, lap, the laptop to die. And as you can see, it's still going through it. Again, you do have to be a little patient depending on how much data it had to wipe out and reinstall the software. It could take between five to 10 minutes, even longer, shorter, just to be a little bit patient. So we're gonna keep on waiting till this gets done and update you guys. All right, guys, so the iPad looks like it has been restored to factory setting, and now it's restarting based on the message that we got. So it did take about good 10 minutes or so for us, so we're waiting uh, because we don't want to disconnect yet. It says, please leave your iPad connected, and it will appear on the sidebar when it restarts. So as you can see here, we're waiting for the iPad to restart, hopefully, and then after that, everything, as you can see, the Apple locating up, that means that everything has been wiped the past code that we saw will be gone now at this point what's going to happen is when you set it up if you have a backup on your macbook your pc or wherever you backed it up you can use to restore that backup or if you don't have that if you have backed up on your icloud you can just sign into your apple icloud account and it will allow you to get all of your data back and hopefully you can access your ipad again as you can see here right now it's going through one more step of doing the installation of the software so we'll have to wait probably a little bit longer than we thought but that happens alrighty guys so now it finally has installed the software and we are ready to go as you can see everything has been wiped it's just like when you receive a new iPad and you turn it off for the very first time you're gonna go ahead and set it up select a region then quick start here connect to your Wi-Fi so we'll connect to our Wi-Fi here Put in our passcode and then we're connecting to our Wi-Fi. You can take off the cable if you don't want to so they can see it's trying to activate our iPad here. Now what's going to happen is if you were signed in to your previous Apple account it's going to ask you to enter that email and password. Now if you forgot the pass password you can always reset it because you should probably have access to your email that will allow you they will allow you to reset it and the number that's attached with it if it has two factor it'll probably ask you for a pin code that will send to your phone or another apple device that you signed into that same apple account so here it's saying it will take a few minutes but again it should be quick and then we'll show you what we mean by having that now if you don't or haven't used iCloud or were logged out already what's going to happen is you're going to be able to just sign into one or create a new one and as you can see it's retrieving configuration All right, so this time it failed to retrieve configuration, but it's all right. So you're just going to keep on doing that till you get to the home screen or sign into your Apple account. So hopefully this video is helpful. If this video is helpful, please make sure to like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.